Welcome back, my dear, sweet friends. My name is Emmy. My husband is Paul behind the camera, and this is the channel Frugal Money Saver. How about that clip at the beginning of our video? We were invited to someone's house after church for dinner the other day, and oh my goodness, we were walking around the backyard, and I was like, can I film this? How beautiful was that? You can really feel autumn here. You can see the leaves changing. The brook was rippling. I didn't even add music to it because I wanted you to really get the sense that you were right there. What a beautiful scene. I was just so impressed and I wanted to share it with you all. Today's video is sort of super special. We do have a nice announcement that we want to share with you all. We're also going to share an update that we have done to our channel that I think you all are going to be really happy with. I hope anyway. We're going to share a frugal recipe for a quick sweet bread. So if this all sounds interesting to you, please stick around. We are an early retirement, debt-free, mortgage-free couple living in the state of New York. And we basically just show you how to live a wonderful, abundant life using less money. And today's video is no different. I'm gonna turn this camera around. We're gonna get into the kitchen. If you have any end of the year zucchini left, this is the recipe to try. Right now, the prices are still super low on zucchini in the grocery stores. If you have never made a zucchini bread, this is the one to try. It is decadent. Nobody's gonna know there's zucchini in it. Oh my goodness, no way. It is so good. Paul approved? Paul approved. And why was it good? It was just tasty, Austin. I had some this morning for breakfast. I think you finished a loaf this morning? No, actually, I saved a little bit for later today. Did you really? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, this is, a, this is a keeper, and my husband is not a veggie kind of healthy eater at all. No, don't tell anybody that there's vegetables in yeah, it. Yeah, they'll never <laughs> they'll know. They'll eat it and love it. It is so good. Give this recipe a try. Let's turn the camera around. We are going to make some zucchini bread. We're going to visit my in-laws to bring them their once a month meal. And I thought because we have these beautiful zucchinis from Lancaster that I would make some fresh zucchini bread. So the first thing I'm going to do is grate them. What we need is three cups of packed zucchini. The good thing about this recipe is you don't even have to drain this zucchini. We're gonna pack it in the cup and the moisture in the zucchini is gonna loan itself to the recipe. I grated one whole zucchini, and this is what I ended up with. So what I'm gonna do is just pack it in the cup, and let's see how much we have. We've got one cup. That zucchini just gave me two cups. I need one more, so I grated a half of another zucchini. So we have our three cups of packed zucchini shredded. This recipe is gonna make two loaves, which is awesome. Look at the counter, there's zucchini everywhere. All right, let me clean up, I'll be right back. So what we're gonna to do to start is just put three eggs in our mixing bowl. And those eggshells will go into the compost, of course. The recipe calls for a cup of oil. I am doing a half a cup of oil, and I am going to do a half a cup of homemade sweetened applesauce. My son's supervisor at work is an amazing cook. She gave us this jar of homemade applesauce. It was so delicious. And I thought if I took a half a cup of that and added it to the bread, it is just going to enhance the flavor of this bread so much more. We're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla and a cup of packed brown sugar. Now I'm gonna beat that all together. Our wet ingredients have all been mixed together. And now in this bowl, I have sifted three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. And I am going to add that right to our wet mixture. 
Now we're gonna mix that until it's thoroughly incorporated. I will link the original recipe down below, as I always do. When you look at the recipe, you'll see I tweaked it, as usual. So <laughs> we're going to mix this all together now. Oh, by the way, I have to return the raisins I bought. Remember the raisins, the little boxes of raisins? Look at the ingredients. Raisins and sulfur dioxide. I do not want sulfur dioxide on my dried fruit. I am going to re return all three boxes and I ran to Acme and lo and behold, Acme had their 20 ounce raisins on sale for $2.79. So I did even better. Ingredients are seedless raisins. You know, I understand that sulfur dioxide is a preservative, but don't want it. I'm gonna take my three cups of zucchini and I'm adding it to our batter. And the batter will seem thick at first, but that's because you need the moisture of the zucchini. And once you start turning it, you can see how much more moisture is in the batter at this point. I preheated my oven to 325. Now in this little bag, I have crushed a half a cup of walnuts. And I bought those walnuts, if you guys remember, in a haul back around Easter time. And I stored them in the refrigerator unopened. And they're good till like 2022. So that was a score when they were on sale. And I added a half a cup of raisins as well. Now what I'm going to do is add a teaspoon of flour to this bag. And I'm just going to coat the raisins and the walnuts a little bit. And what that will do is help prevent the fruit and nuts from sinking to the bottom of the bread. Because we don't want that to happen. The raisins really benefit from doing this. So I'm going to add this right to our mix. You can see the raisins are coated in the flour now. Just a little bit, no more than a teaspoon. We don't want to alter the recipe. And now I'm just going to fold in the raisins and nuts. So I put the zucchini bread batter in two greased loaf pans. And now I'm just going to take a jar that I keep filled with turbinado sugar, which is like sugar in the raw. And I'm going to give a little sprinkling to the top because that adds such a nice little sweet crunch. I am now going to put them in a 325 degree preheated oven and they are going to cook for approximately 40 to 60 minutes. We'll check it at 40 like we always do at the lowest time and we'll see if the toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. These loaves came out beautiful. The only problem was they cooked for an hour and 10 minutes before they were done. But I will link the original recipe down below, but after an hour and 10 minutes, they were completely done. And as you can see, they look beautiful. I'm gonna let them cool in the pan for 20 minutes and then we'll take them out. This bread came out amazing. And you see how the walnuts and the raisins are dispersed throughout the bread? I'm telling you, that little bit of a trick with the flour really works. They are absolutely beautiful. And yes, there was a piece tasted and it is delicious. So I'm going to wrap one of these up to bring to my in-laws for part of their meal. Yeah, the bread was very, very good. Please give it a try. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the update we did on the channel. So take a look at this. I think this is going to be really, really helpful for you all. A lot of times we'll get emails saying, what video was this recipe in? Or where can I find your recipe for the vegetarian lasagna? Or whatever it may be that you all are looking for. And honestly, YouTube search is not wonderful. So I think this is gonna help you a little bit. So take a look. So to look at what we did to update our homepage a little bit, you would just type in Frugal Money Saver or click on our little icon when you're watching a video and it would bring you to our page. This is our Frugal Money Saver homepage. You have home, videos, playlists, community channels, about. You're gonna to go to playlists. 
what we did was we put them in categories for you now. I'm about halfway through the video. I still have a handful more to do, but I figured this would be a good start. Maybe by the time this goes up, it may even be done. Let's just take a look. So right here, you see desserts. What you would do is go to view, full playlist. You've got the recipe and the video it's associated with. Apple butter crisp, Snickers salad, budget peach dessert, no bake peanut butter pie. So that's exactly what we did to try to make this a little bit easier for you. Well, you wanna look at our zero food waste videos. You just click view full list and here you go, all of them in one place. I hope that this will make looking for our recipes that much easier for you. This will save you time, it will save you money because you're gonna be cooking up some really yummy frugal food. And what I did was, if it's a chicken recipe and it's a one pot meal, then it'll be in both categories. When you wanna go back to one of my recipes, you'll know exactly where it is. What's the big news? What's so exciting? Paul, you wanna tell them what's so exciting? Well, we've reached over 15,000 subscribers, so. Yay. Thank you! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yay! And um, you guys all did it. I know those of you who follow us on Instagram already saw our post about that over the weekend. We are so thankful. 15,000 subscribers. Paul? How are you feeling about that? Because I'm no, pretty... it's great. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> we are so thank humbled. You. Really, thank you. So you know what this means. This means that Paul and I sat and chatted and we said, well, you know what? You know how we love to give gifts. So it's time to do that again. So what we're going to do to get you all in the holiday spirit, a special little giveaway. See these adorable little gift bags aren't they precious i have six of them two sets you open them up oh, they're, so, they're so cute oh my goodness put a little gift in it you can put a wrapped baked good in it for the holidays whatever you want to do with them one says merry christmas one says wishes which you could really use for anything and one says believe, but that's not enough, is it? Just to give them these. Yeah, no, I think you need to add something to it. You think? At least put something in one of the bags. All right, what do you think? What the giveaway is, these three little bags, but inside one of them, we will place a gift card. And it will be a $20 gift card, and you can choose from three different gift cards. I know, right? Who allows you to choose the gift card you want when it's a giveaway? But we are doing exactly that. You can pick from Bath and Body Works. You know what? I love that store. And to me, that is such a treat. Sometimes we don't buy things like that for ourselves. That's why I wanted to include a Bath and Body Works gift card. That was my idea. Or you can pick a $20 gift card to Walmart or you can pick a $20 gift card to the Dollar Tree. It's specifically the Dollar Tree though. It's not Dollar General. It is the dollar store called the Dollar Tree. Two of you will win these three little bags a piece, one gift certificate of your choice to either Bath and Body Works, Walmart, or the Dollar Tree. You choose. So I hope that is a fun little giveaway for you. How do you enter? The specific rules will be down below. You must be over the age of 18. You must live, I know, I know, I know, but you must live in the continental United States. There are so many other rules if you start going outside of the country. You must be subscribed to my channel. And yes, I can tell whether you're subscribed or not. You must leave us a comment down below giving us your favorite holiday. Doesn't matter, could be Thanksgiving, could be Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it may be. Your 
favorite frugal holiday tip. There is no purchase necessary either. And you also must void where prohibited. And please, by all means, if you don't want to be entered, leave us your best holiday frugal tip and just say no thank you to the giveaway. And we're going to use our YouTube picker again and pick two blessed winners. So I hope this is as exciting to you as it is to us. Contest ends this Friday, October 15th, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Paul and I will pick the winner with the YouTube picker and we'll film it. And then when my video goes up between 2 and 3 p.m. Eastern on Friday the 15th. So you'll have this gift certificate in time for the holiday. Again, you pick one and you each get the three bags. I love these bags. We thank you so much for being a part of our channel. We love when you email us. We love when you send us cards. We love when we hear from you that we are just an encouragement because that's all we really wanna be is an encouragement on your personal frugal journey. And thank you for giving us the privilege to be able to do that. And we mean that sincerely. Absolutely. Thank Honestly. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. So we love you. Leave us a comment so you can get into this giveaway with your best frugal holiday tip. Give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you again for everything. Be safe, be well, and above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, bye-bye.